Sri Pran, I'm uh, from Kambir and Sri Pran. Today we are going to be a talk, topic about uh, hacking and um, hacking we are going to concentrate on packet capture. Okay. Before going to the topic, uh, let me say something like uh, this video is purely educational purpose. So please don't try this. Okay, let's go to the some basic concept about the order of these things and all. So uh, initially let us take a system. You have a system in front of you and uh, you want certain data which is available in the external value to be connected to a particular system. What do you do? Like for example, you have a data in a pen drive and the data from the pen drive should be connected to your uh, system. The data should be transferred from pen drive to your system. What do you do? Like you will simply take a pen drive and you will plug into the port, USB port so that the no, both the device like your computer and your pen drive can exchange information between this port. So it is clear now that if you want to uh, send if you want some data from external area to your particular device, what you want to do? You need a port. Port is something that is essential to get the data from external world to the computer that you are going to. Similarly, let's now concentrate on in internet. Internet is, internet is nothing but a group of system is going to be connected in a network. So now it is not, it is not so clear like the USB that we are talking about. So in the case of pen drive, you know exactly what is the system, what is the data and where you have to connect, everything is clear. But in the case of internet, we are going to get some information from another system to our system. So what is that? We don't know where the information is going to come from. So to solve this issue, IP address came into existence. So what is IP address? IP address is nothing but to identify a particular system in a network, you need IP address. So in the case of IP address, you can identify a particular system. Now, from one system to another system, how will this information is transferred? We already talked that any information that is coming into the system, it comes only to the port that is available in this. Uh, if you see this example that we have illustrated already, like a USB pen drive, when it is connected to a system, uh, the information flows. We can see this diagram. See, in our system, we have a number of ports that are available. So, using these ports, uh, information from the next channel uh, is getting into our system. So, this is a port which is called as a physical port, which is available in the system. So, uh, like uh, when we are talking about uh, information that is being uh, transferred between the system in the internet that is connected using an IP address. So, in the IP address, you need certain port so that the system can retrieve the information from that particular system. Let me say in the detail. For example, in the physical, if you are talking about the physical port, uh, like uh, you will be seeing in a system, like someone to 10 ports are available physically in a system. But if you talk about virtual post, virtual port is nothing but you will be having like 65,500 ports are available in your system. Using the ports, the information is getting into the system. So why I am taking the telling about the status and all this. So before getting to the topic like hacking, you need to know where the packet is coming from and where it will be uh, received to a system. That details you should know because we are concentrating on hacking, like the data reaches in a particular port. So whenever we are uh, putting a uh, recorder over there in the particular port, we can receive all the data, so it will be clear. We will see you an example no problem over there. So uh, to say about virtual ports, uh, some important ports are like port number 20 and 21 uh, which, which is going to be used for file protocol and the AD port number 80, 443 which is going to be used for HTTP ports. So HTTP port is nothing but the whatever the, you are typing to receive your website content, that content will be sent from this port number, port number 80, port number 443 to another system. So another system will receive this information in that particular port and they will respond back to this port. So whenever a system is I mean, getting this detail, it will be received in the particular port number. So if you are giving some um, recorder, if you are placing some recorder in the port, particular port number 80, you can receive what are the website that has been traced by that, I mean, what are the website that is coming into the system, particular system. So this is the case, so we need to know about this port number. So it is un un unimaginable like uh, 
there are six way thousand five thirty three ports without a filter system. Now we have a clear idea about what is port. Now whenever a system is connected to an internet, the data from one system to internet the another system is being sent using some protocol. So important protocol that we are going to see in the TCP layer and uh, transport layer is TCP protocol and UDP protocol. So uh, to say something about this protocol, TCP protocol uh, is like a handshake thing. Like whenever you need to send some data to another system, there will be connection established between the system, and after establishing the connection, the data will be exchanged. But in the case of UDP, there will be no connection. So simply they can push the packets. So to say something about packets. So each and every information will be uh, separated in the form of packet. So uh, whenever information is going to flow, each information will be sent in the form of a packet. So what we are going to do is we are going to concentrate on uh, recording the packets in the computer. So uh, I am going to use the tool like uh, Wireshark and Excel. So Wireshark is a tool which is going to capture the packet and we are going to analyze the packet capture thing using the excerpt. So I will go in detail. Before that, I can uh, give some example like uh, um, what we are going to do. I am going to illustrate some example to uh, for the packet capturing. So in our example, there is a scenario like uh, two persons are uh, chatting using an application and during the chat, they are sending some information like uh, a file that has been transferred. So we are going to concentrate to retrieve that file. So here is uh, the example like uh, already there is a packet that has been captured while the, during the transfer. So in that packet, now we are going to analyze how we can identify what is the thing happened between them and as well as is there any other uh, file that has been sent between them. So let's go to the white shop. Like if you see this uh, slide, there is an IP address you know, like 192.158.1158. It is the IP address which is being used. I will tell nothing about the system. The system is being used to send the detail. That is, the system is being used to chat. So now we are going to analyze what are the chatting things that has happened within, I mean, from this IP address. Now let's go to the white shop. Here we are going to see that example, like uh, in this example, a packet is being captured during the chat session. Okay. This, uh, this packet, that are, uh, we can see, like, if you are scrolling, you can see, like, uh, 400 to 300 transactions that have been happened within the user. This is the, the list of IP address that have been transferred. So, we will be getting like uh, 1000 to 5000 packets, 1000 to 5000 transactions within a minute or within some certain amount of time. So, to make analyze from this packet is a crucial task. So, uh, let me illustrate, I mean, let me say that how to make it so simple. So, in uh, Yshop, there is a tool like uh, there is an option like Statistic. When you are clicking the statistic, you will be getting a conversation. There is a menu like statistic and you can click the conversation. In the conversation, you will be getting uh, many details like Ethernet, IPv4, IPv6, TCP and UDP. I already told you about the TCP and UDP layers with the TCP and UDP protocol. So TCP protocol and UDP protocol are essential thing in the transport layer. Using that layer, I mean using the protocol only, the packet is being transferred from one system to another system. So now we are going to concentrate on TCP and UDP protocol. Now let me say I am going to choose TCP. Why? What is the reason? Why? What is the reason why I am choosing TCP? Is here we are concentrating on chatting thing. Chatting thing will happen only between two users when the connection is established and it is secure. So in our case, I am going to use TCP. So TCP layer contains many things. Like uh, uh, we can see there is the IP address like from A to B it is having some transactions it is mentioned so so in our case as I have uh, shown you in already uh, in the PPT the IP address that I am going to concentrate is 1.158 so in, in this case only two things are there 158 address it has only two transactions so the one thing is uh, having a port of port number 51128 and another is having a port number 5190 so I am going to analyze this two packet other things I won't have it because I am going to concentrate only in the IP address 1.15. So let me say now I am going to follow the first one 51128. Okay. I am giving you, I am clicking that, I am giving you the follow stream. So here you are getting some details like uh, uh, that is the information which is saying that here is a secret recipe. I just downloaded it from a file server. 
uh, just a copy of the number of data packet like that. So this is the chat that has been happened between one user and another user. This is the information that has been sent from one user to another user. So we clearly can identify that uh, there is a file that has been transferred. Like there is a file name recipe.boc x that has been transferred from the user to another user. So that is clear. I already told that, that there are two, two packets. In this first packet, we have uh, some, some information. And uh, in the second packet, I am going to analyze the second packet now. So in the second packet, why I am choosing is, there is a port number involved, like 5190 is the port number that has been involved. If you Google the port, port number 5190, it will say some information regarding that uh, port number. That port number will be used by many chatting applications to transfer the files and the chatting history. So let me follow that stream. Like I can click that and I will follow the stream. Uh, this is the port number that has been used for the, the transfer of file. So uh, we can see the details which is given like some um, dump this uh, text uh, data dump is there. Here is the information, original information. From this information we are going to extract the file which is named as recipe.dbocx. So how to do that? That we are going to see now. See, so this is the entire thing. Now I am going to save this file as a raw. So how to save this? You have to go to the show and save it. Now we have to click raw. So uh, we have raw raw data. So we are we are going to simply save this raw data in any file like save us. We can give we can save it in the desktop. It will be easy for us to. So we are simply we can give any name and dot raw is essential. So we are going to give secret dot raw secret tree dot raw is there. Okay, I am giving uh, save. So now a file. This is the conversation, a, a, every conversation, each and every conversation is available now at the raw format to us. So now we are going to the desktop. So desktop is the location where we have saved that file. So in the desktop we can see that uh, secret tree is there. This is the file that has been saved uh, during that um, change. Okay, now open the file using the Excel data. Okay, uh, the, this is the thing that uh, that has happened between the uh, chat during the, the IP chat. This is the detail. The entire detail is available now. Now we are we are going to extract the content from uh, this application. Okay. Before that, uh, we know that uh, the file that has been transferred is recipe dot So we need to understand some concept like uh, what is that uh, what is the format of the file? The format is nothing but DOCX. If you Google for the magic number of the file, if you Google the magic number of the file, you can find that the magic number of the file is 54, 03 and 04. So this is the magic number that is useful when we are going to search for that file in the uh, extracted content. So if you go to the raw format, it will be all over like this. So here where the original file is to be found out, it will be helpful by the magic number that we, are, that we found. For example, we are uh, type that content like 54B0304. Why we are typing that content is because this is the magic number for .docx format. Similarly, you will be having separate separate format for each and every file. So we need to identify what is the type of the file, and after identifying the type of the file, you can go for the magic number of the file. Once we are uh, searching for the magic number, it will give the magic number. We have to change uh, the string uh, while after control F. We have to change into string into X. Now we can find that, that uh, type. After that uh, control F, we are giving control F, we need to concentrate on hex strings instead of uh, string which is in the default option. If you are searching the string, it will be point to the 54B. See here, uh, 54B0304. This is what we saw in the Google, which is given as a magic number for the bad document. Similarly, each and every uh, the format, uh, in each and every type will have the original uh, magic number. We have to identify that magic number. We can Google it simply like that. So now we found that magic number in the entire content. Now what we are going to do is we are going to arise in the outer data. So other data we are going to arise. So above the 50, we have to arise everything. So we can uh, arise by selecting also. They can arise also. Okay. Now uh, we have arise the other content. Now we are starting the file with 54B03 and 04. This is the starting version of the file now. So what you have done, we have uh, uh, extracted the raw content from the tra I mean, uh, transaction tree and now we have opened the file in the X editor. In the X editor, we have erased each and everything. So we have started starting the uh, raw file with 54B. That is what we have done. Now we, have, we can simply save this file as a DOCX format.
So again, we are going to save the file in the desktop. So desktop. So we are giving the name result something as result dot dbcs. Simply click save. So now we can go to the desktop. So that our bad document is there, which is we are uh, extracted from the content. So now while double clicking there, uh, you will be getting a message. We can simply go okay on that. We click yes. So we are getting that file from the chat script. As we have seen so far, uh, this video is right now to capture the packet and uh, analyze the packet. So each time we can catch the packet uh, so easily between the transaction. The only thing that is uh, essential to be understand how we are going to filter out the data. That is the thing that is to be highlighted. Like uh, each time when you are starting your run, like different analysis method methodology should be used. Like it is a simple thing. Uh, whenever uh, you are going for uh, taking that uh, email uh, username or password or uh, whenever the file is sent in an email, it will be a different format. Like it will be encrypted. So we have to use some encryption decryption methodology to extract that content. I think uh, you will have understood the uh, concept and uh, uh, make sure that you are not trying this over a uh, uh, public network or anything. And the home is okay. Like uh, to access the details within the home is okay. But uh, when you are trying in an um, outer world, it will be an issue. So please don't try this out.